What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. And we are back with our Player of the Week review. This time we're taking a look at the domestic league players. So we've got Lewandowski, Hakimi, and of course, Ak Torkoglu as well. Sorry if I butchered his name, lads. My pronunciation is horrific. It's horrific. Pedro Neto is there. De Kettler's there. Pepe's there as well. As Sara, uh, Rui Silva, Dumfries, Ildes, and of course, Marco Ye there as well. So it's not a bad selection. Now, if you've noticed, right, and I've definitely noticed it in the last two weeks, maybe three weeks tops, that they've actually started to kind of reduce the power uh, kind of like balance, right? And they've tried to alter the power balance a little bit. Some cards still have high ratings, such as Lewandowski here, but the cards now have that kind of like, they've one weak stat or they've one like missing skill or they've one thing about the card that kind of stops them from you know, being the full package, right? So this Robert Robert Lewandowski, Lewandowski lads, is having one of his best seasons. He's been absolutely beasting, 90 finishing, 90 plus heading, uh, or 88 plus heading is going to go to 90 with any manager that's worth his salt. Ball control is very solid for a big man as well, but the speed and the balance, the acceleration and the balance is going to like be what separates this card from other goal poachers. And also that his attacking awareness or his offensive awareness isn't 95 plus. I'm going to talk about the difference between attacking awareness being 95 plus compared to being 90 plus. There's a couple of stats that kind of fill that uh, gap um, and, and that need that higher threshold, especially with the little changes to the game. Because they've made tiny incremental changes to the game that a lot of people aren't really talking about, I suppose. And that's why out wide and possession is working a little bit better now because a lot of people are still playing the game meta. The game is always going to be suited to playing meta, you know, fast, fren frenetic kind of play. But we also have the Kettler here as well. Again, look what I'm talking about. His balance and his acceleration are lacking for a whole player. Um, and his lofted pass is quite poor as well. Now, it's a good card. He does have some nice player skills. But this is kind of what I'm talking about, is that there's one weak area of every card. The cards are about 75% of where they need to be. You know, and that extra 25% is reserved now for the big boys. You know what I mean? I'm talking like player of the week, player of the year, Rodri. I'm talking about Law. I'm talking about Booster Vieira. Um, but yeah, they're not too bad. Hakimi's probably the pick of them, lads, because he's got the acceleration and the speed. Defensively, he's very, very aggressive as well, which is nice. That's going to go past 85. He doesn't have blocker. That's the only thing on him. But fullback finishers are very interesting to play with if you're liking a bit of flexibility. I actually like fullback finishers that they kind of run central. I will do a video on all of these play styles as well over the next couple of weeks. It's a nice card. A very, very nice card. We also have Pedro Neto. I wish United had gone out and signed this kid, man. I genuinely do. I think he's really, really good. I, I highly rate him in real life. Um, and I just like wingers, man, that take on players. You know, I like silky wingers. And this guy can play left, right, through the middle, everywhere. Very good dribbling. His tight possession and his finishing is a little bit of a weak point if you're looking for a kind of like a scoring prolific winger. But his speed and his acceleration and balance are really nice. Plus, he does have a lot of really nice skills, including advanced double touch or ball roll, double touch flip flap and soul control. But he also has long range curler, which is nice. True passing and pinpoint crossing is very, very nice card. And all his AI playing styles, they are really nice as well um, if you're simming games, right? So down towards the end of the, the list here, right? We have Goya here. Not bad. Acceleration is pretty decent. Defensively, is very decent. But a lot of these cards now, man, are just going to be a dime a dozen. I said it in my other Player of the Week video as well. You're talking about him. You're talking about this guy with the low balance, even though he's not that tall and only 85 finishing. Um, he does have some nice skills. You're also talking about this DMF here. Pretty decent, but defensively, you know, not aggressive enough. Doesn't have any of his, his defending stats going over 80 with any manager. And then, of course, last but not least, we have this guy here who's a whole player. Again, very, very solid stats, but there's a couple of things missing with this guy unless you throw on the booster. So this is where it can be kind of like an exception to the rule, right? The one thing he's missing is flip-flap, but other than that, it's a very, very solid card. Extremely solid card. Um, kind of like in the other pack, there's a Grova pack uh, or a player in the other uh, Champions League uh, style player of the week. Very, very nice card. Lads. You're going to have 90 finishing pretty much. You're going to have the dribbling and ball control exactly where you want it to be. Balance is going to be 90. Acceleration is very, very strong. This is kind of where the booster actually adds to this card because you're, you're, you're bringing up that finishing by three and the ball control by three, which really does change the trajectory of this card and that's what i'm saying is that they can do a lot of little simple things to improve these cards even if it's for only a week like why not just have it that if you get a player of the week you're able to pick what special booster you want in him or you're able to like pick a skill or something that you can use for a week or with a token 
Dumfries is, is also pretty decent as well. Defensively, he's quite poor, but as an attack and fullback, he does have blocker and interception, which is nice. Fighting spirits, lighting tackle. And of course, he does have heading, but not aerial superiority, even though he's quite tall and he can play uh, right mid as well. So it's a pretty decent card. And then last but not least, we have Rui Silva, who I never really take... Um, yeah, I don't really talk about the goalkeepers too much, guys, because all the goalkeepers are the same. Now, this kid is a very exciting player as well. Obviously, he's only a youngster. He's only 19. He's down as a creative, but he's down as a left midfield. He can play CF, SS, and AMF. So it's always nice to have these type of cards in if you are a fan of uh, Juventus players or if you're just a fan of having different types of players and playing different types of uh, gameplay. Because, listen, there is something that works in the game, boys. We know what works in the game. We know what works in the game if you want to have the, the best chance at dominating most games, right? We understand that. But sometimes it's nice just to be a little bit creative and just try something different and play with players that you might want to have that you never really usually play with. So make sure and check out my other Player of the Week review as well. And of course, we will have the World Player of the Year review as well with the Showtime cards with Fortress Rodri, phenomenal finish in Jude Bellingham, who's down as a CMF, box to box, and Momentum Dribbling Vinny. Who looks insane. So Rodri is going to be the next shake up to the meta. In my opinion you'll see a lot of top ranked players using Rodri. Trust me. But other than that boys. We will be back very very soon. I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe.